everyone. This is Mina. Welcome to the sixth and final episode. The difference between breathing hydrogen and drinking hydrogen water. Let's consider the main points of the following news report. Dr. Chen Jianhui says that moderate exercise can usually help fight inflammation and reduce pain. However, vigorous exercise down to excess produces lots of free radicals. This abundance of free radicals is the main reason for oxidative damage. The accumulation of lactic acid in muscles leads to limited oxygenation and interferes with the normal metabolism. If there are problems with the cell metabolism, toxins build up within, and the nutrients cannot enter the cells. This is a perennial problem for Olympic athletes. Every day, oxidative damage accumulates in their bodies and damages their health. Performance-enhancing medications are forbidden. Urine tests can easily lead to disqualification. They are not safe to use high-concentrated antioxidants. What is interesting is that Olympic athletes often rely on traditional Chinese medicine techniques. Such as cupping or acupuncture to resolve their problems, Dr. Chen Jianhui explains that based on Japanese research, inhaling hydrogen or drinking hydrogen water is the easiest and the best technique. The most obvious example is dealing with the harmful effects of inflammation. Not only does hydrogen provide a comprehensive solution to the problem. It also provides an immediate performance boost. This is why the Japanese government will provide 2020 Tokyo Olympic athletes with hydrogen gas and hydrogen water, a very thoughtful gesture. We can imagine how hydrogen will be then become a hot topic discussed worldwide. Now that you know its importance. What is the best way to benefit from hydrogen? From the medical standpoint, there are three major techniques: inhalation, drinking, and what Japanese doctors prefer injections. The inhalation technique brings hydrogen gas into lungs, and then to the whole body via the circulatory system. In principle, the effect on the upper half of the body, such as the brain, will be more obvious. In addition to enhancing one's metabolism and extracting waste, long-term reliance on drinking hydrogen water can also reduce oxidative damage, and thereby quickly reduce the body's total burden. As for hydrogen in injectable form, this option can be useful in exceptional circumstances when time is of the essence. Japan is leading the way in the study of hydrogen, and Taiwan is rapidly catching up. Expanding the use of hydrogen will depend on combined efforts of business, government, and academia. This short three-minute video explains. For more details, please check out the links in the notes. It turns out that the biggest difference between inhaling and drinking hydrogen. Lies in the physiological pathway, and the total amount of hydrogen that is absorbed. Drinking hydrogen water quickly and directly reduces oxidative damage of these main organs and the digestive system: the oral cavity, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestines. Hydrogen water acts immediately on these areas. Whereas inhaled hydrogen has a relatively slower effect. By entering via the respiratory system, inhaled hydrogen has its greatest effect on organs above the diaphragm, including our chest, lungs, respiratory tract, and brain. It then reaches muscles throughout the body via bloodstream, thereby. Quickly and directly reducing oxidative damage to these areas, because it is not limited by the amount of water one can drink. 
hydrogen inhalation allows a higher volume of hydrogen to be absorbed. There are very few gaps between water molecules. This is why it is so difficult for gases to dissolve in water. Even when the gaps between molecules are temporarily filled with hydrogen under pressure, so-called saturated hydrogen water. Vacuum-packed pure hydrogen water at most can only have a hydrogen content of 2 ppm or higher. However, as soon as the pack is opened and the pressure is released, the physical limit for dissolved hydrogen at 20 degrees Celsius is only above 1.2 cubic centimeters of hydrogen in 100 cubic centimeters of water. Even if the temperature is lowered and the pressure is increased, the hydrogen content is still limited. When it comes to hydrogen inhalation, however, the volume of hydrogen is much higher than with the hydrogen water. You can inhale as much as your machine produces. The volume is far, far greater. Use your own judgment to make a choice based on whatever your body needs help with. For example, some of the hydrogen gas generators that has an output of 500 cubic centimeters and 1000 cubic centimeters of hydrogen gas per minute. Think about it. You can get 1000 cubic centimeters of hydrogen in just one minute. How many liters of water would you have to drink to get that much hydrogen? Nobody can drink that much water in one minute. A 2017 issue of Business Today magazine mentioned lung cancer, which is among the worst cancers wreaking havoc with Taiwan's health insurance budget. Lung cancer at up 11.7 billion Taiwan dollars, breast cancer at 11.5 billion, and colorectal cancer at 11.3 billion. So why is lung cancer in first place? because there are no pain sensors in the lungs. The early stages are free of symptoms. Lung cancer amounts to an invisible killer, and this is why it causes the most deaths. Lung cancer accounts for 60% of all stage 4 discoveries, the highest proportion, and lies among the top 10 cancers. Its survival rate is the lowest, only 20%. Do you think you might belong to the high-risk group for lung cancer? See if you fall into one of the following groups. Motorcyclists, bus commuters, joggers, cyclists, smokers, second-hand smokers, kitchen workers. These are the high-risk groups. The number of smokers in Taiwan has gone down, but the incidence of lung cancer has gone up. The effects of air pollution are not to be underestimated. Let's look at the relationship between hydrogen and PM2.5 pollution. What is the impact of PM2.5 on the human body? Let's take a closer look at what it is. In fact, it refers to the size of airborne particulates. Most particles are usually larger than 10 microns in diameter. This is called PM10. Particles of this size are too big to penetrate and harm the human body. But when they get down to 2.5 microns, they are extremely small and much easier to be absorbed. Many particles of harmful substances such as arsenic, lead, and so on, can penetrate deep within the body. They can reach the bronchial tissue, interfere with the gas exchange, and oxidize alveolar cells, causing extensive damage. PM2.5 can also cause chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, often abbreviated as COPD. Obstruction of airways is a disease caused by chronic inflammation. PM2.5 has also been shown to be intimately related to various types of inflammatory conditions. 
ranging from the most common atopic dermatitis to bronchitis, hepatitis, and others. The main reason is that these minis particles penetrate deep into the body and provoke excessive immune responses. These responses are accompanied by a great deal of oxidative damage, which leads to inflammation. It turns out that hydrogen molecules are excellent antioxidants. Now, the various forms of PM2.5 damage mentioned above are closely connected with the inflammation. Thus, to prevent the various diseases that arise, when PM2.5 pollution penetrates our body, the most important thing is to protect ourselves from excessive inflammation. According to work by Korean researchers, hydrogen can also promote the removal of PM2.5 particles from the lungs and the blood of mice. Chong Park University in South Korea conducted a very important study in mice. They divided the mice into three groups. The first one, which was used as a control group, drank ordinary water. The second group drank a low dose of hydrogen water containing 10 cubic centimeters of hydrogen water per kilo of body weight. The third group drank a high dose 30 cubic centimeters of hydrogen water per kilo of body weight, three times as much. After only one week, a marvelous thing happened. The group of mice that drank hydrogen water excreted microparticles much faster than the mice that drank ordinary water because the experimenters discovered that the phagocytosis index of microphages of low and high hydrogen does mice were 3.5 and 6.7 times more active than the mice that drank plain water. This may be the main reason why invading microparticles were eliminated much faster. Simply put, after PM2.5 particles entered their bodies, their microphages sprang into action and swallowed them up. This means that the mice that drank hydrogen water had microphages which swallow up PM2.5 much faster. So hydrogen applications most definitely have a very bright future. There is one last thing that is worth mentioning here. Research papers and the medical literature always refers to hydrogen molecular or hydrogen gas. As for the word hydrogen ion, it is actually a wrong word. Because hydrogen ions have no antioxidant effect, so research papers never mention them. And the word negative hydrogen ion water, because it is too active in the form of a negative hydrogen ion, it is not stable enough to exist in this nature, not to mention to dissolve it in water, because masses of conflicting information about hydrogen are available. Cognitive biases have led some people to plausible but incorrect conclusions. During these 12 years, my family members and myself, as well as all the friends I have been privileged to meet, have all benefited so much from hydrogen. The number of truly moving cases has been truly overwhelming. It is as if I was watching episode after episode of a touching, inspirational drama series that was playing before me. Seeing the mighty power of hydrogen, I have come to believe that hydrogen will help this world enormously. I am sure that many of the other people who are benefiting from hydrogen will share my feeling. The entire human race has shared the progress of medical science, ranging from individual testimonials, verification via isolated cells, animal and human trials, accumulating in mainstream medicine with the clinical applications and textbook entries. Let us all hope that hydrogen can help our world achieve its full potential. 
Let us read this world of unnecessary suffering and pain, and usher in a world where everyone can enjoy the pleasures of life. Good health is the simplest form of happiness. This is the main reason why I wanted to make these videos. Thank you for watching so patiently. I wish you all much happiness. If you liked this series, please do remember to press like, and don't forget to subscribe for more quality information. For follow-up information, you are also welcome to contact me via Line, WhatsApp, or WeChat. Thank you.